All right, hey boys and girls, we are going to talk in this video about dividing mixed numbers. All right, so by the end of this video, I want you to know how to divide mixed numbers. All right, whether there's one mixed number, whether there's two mixed numbers, all right, no matter what the case, I want you to divide. I'm going to show you one example, and I'm going to walk through it step by step. So you need to write down the steps in your Cornell notes. Okay, so let's go. Dividing mixed numbers. First thing you may ask, and I'm, I, really I hope you're not, but if you are, what is a mixed number? Well, a mixed number contains both an integer, whether it's positive or negative, and a fraction. Okay, and this is it. This is an example. This is one possible example of what a mixed number looks like. And there are literally an infinite amount of, of mixed numbers out there. But this is just one, all right? And I chose two and five-eighths to use as an example to show you what a mixed number looks like. The 2 is your integer, okay? And that's either positive or negative. In our case, in this example, it's positive, okay? But it can be negative, all right? And then you have your fraction, 5 eighths, 5 over 8, all right? Together, they form a mixed number, all right? So let's look at an example on how to divide a mixed number. Now, I've changed mixed numbers because, once again, there's a bunch of them out there, all right? So... In order to, the first step you need to do in order to change, um, in order to divide a mixed number is to change all the mixed numbers in your problem to improper fractions. All right. You change all of your mixed numbers in your division problem to improper fractions. Okay. So here's my problem. I have one and one eighth divided by three quarters. All right. So according to my first step, I have to change my mixed numbers to improper fraction. Well, I only have one mixed number. So I'm only going to change one. All right, I can't change three-fourths. It's not a mixed number. It's a proper fraction. All right, so the steps to change, if you don't remember from the fifth grade how to change a mixed, uh, mixed number into an improper fraction, you have to multiply the denominator times the integer, times the whole number, all right, your, your, your coefficient, so to speak. And I multiply it, 8 times 1, right there. Then I take my answer, which is 8 in this case, all right, it'll be different based on whatever your mixed number is. But I take that number and I add it to my numerator. Okay, so I take my answer of 8 and I add it to 1, which is my numerator, and I come up with 9. And then I take that becomes my new numerator. All right, and I put that over my existing denominator. And what I wind up with is, in this case, 9 over 8. Now, 9 over 8 and 1 and 1 eighth are the exact same number, they are equal. Okay? They are equal. That's why that's why I can do this. All right. So if I were to simplify nine eighths, guess what I would get? One and one eighth. Okay. So that's it. That's this. This is this problem right here, rewritten. All right. So I can set it up and get ready to divide it. I got nine eighths divided by three quarters. All right. So let's look at the next step. In step two, we're going to keep the first fraction the same. All right, so 9 eighths, I'm going to keep the same. I just rewrote it down here. And then I'm going to change the problem from a division problem to a multiplication problem. Now, you might say, Mr. Bell, I've never seen this before. Well, that's not entirely true because I showed you how to do this in the last video. So if this is confusing to you, go back to the, the division of uh, regular fractions video and rewatch that because I explained why this works. Okay, so I'm changing it from a division problem to a multiplication problem. All right, that's my second step. My third step is to flip the second fraction only. Flip the second fraction only, not the first fraction, because we did what? We kept that one the same. All right, and we're using the reciprocal of this of this second fraction. So my original fraction was 3 fourths. Down here, I'm flipping it to 4 thirds. I'm using its reciprocal. All right, remember we talked about reciprocals and, and how they work in this type of problem. Okay, so now... My new problem is 9 over 8 times 4 thirds. All right, so our third step is to multiply just like you would any other fraction. All right, we know how to multiply super easy. You multiply the numerator times the numerator. Then you multiply the denominator times the nom denominator, and you simplify. Okay, so I've kind of, it's kind of long here, but I've, I've basically just rewritten it. Okay, so I have 9 times 4, and I rewrote it 9 times 4. I have 8 times 3, and I rewrote that 8 times 3. All right, so you kind of get a better idea of what I'm doing. 
9 times 4 is 36. 8 times 3 is 24. All right. Now, I rewrote it 36 over 24, and we have to simplify it. Okay, so I had to use what we learned a couple videos ago, talking about greatest common factor. I need to find the greatest common factor of 36, and I need to find the greatest common factor of 24. Well, I found out that the greatest common factor of both these numbers is 12. Okay. Now I can simplify my fractions using this greatest common factor. I divide 36 by 12 and I get 3, and I divide 24 by 12 and I get 2. But I'm still not simplified because it's an improper fraction. All right, My numerator is bigger than my denominator, so I have to simplify it yet one more time in order to get it in its simplest terms. Um, so I divide 3 by 2. Remember what is being divided is on top. And what you're dividing by is on the bottom. So 3 divided by 2. 2 will go into 3 one time. That's what that 1 is right there. And it leaves me a remainder of 1. So I take my remainder and I put it in my numerator. Back over my original denominator, which is right there. And that gives me an answer of 1 and a half. That's all there is to dividing mixed numbers. Now you may have problems that have two mixed numbers in them. You just do an extra step and turn that second mixed number into an improper fraction. All right, But you don't flip but one fraction, and it's that second fraction. You're only flipping. You're only using the reciprocal of that second fraction. The first fraction stays the same. All right. Make sure you answer the questions, and I'll see you in class.